hello guys this is from vasa incorporation uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how to program a microcontroller uh, the microcontroller we are using is basically a p89 v51 rd2 microcontroller which gets programmed serially so uh, to begin with this tutorial we need one thing uh, usb to uart as you can see here there are two types of usb to uart uh, the traditional this is the old one and this is the new one which you will find in the market it is basically cheaper one and can be used to program our controller so in this tutorial i'm not going to use this because uh, it has some issues with windows 8 operating system uh, the basic scheme is same and the operation is same uh, the only pins we need is uh, ground vcc tx and rx so the same pin configuration can be found into this usb to uart so there is no issue that whether of which uh, you are using so we are going to use this one uh, you have to make the connection same if, if you are using this uh, usb to uart so let's begin our tutorial so the first thing you need to do is just uh, take the ground uh, connect the ground and vcc to your breadboard you just take out see i'm taking the ground i have taken mail connectors uh, this way I am going to put one ground pin and second to the VCC so here my black is ground and green is VCC and uh, this is your breadboard as you can see here the yellow line is ground and the red line is VCC so you must be uh, sure of what the lane is connected in so in my breadboard it is connected yellow is for ground and red is for vcc so i am going to connect my usb to uart ground and vcc pin in this way see here all right so this is this then again uh, in 805 microcontroller the tx and rx pin are 10th and 11th pin respectively the 10th pin is your rx pin and 11th pin is your tx pin see i am connecting a mail connector here and uh, this is the rx pin this is the rx pin of usb to uart which goes to tx pin of 805 microcontroller and then the tx pin of usb to uart goes to rx pin of 805 microcontroller so this is the connection you don't need to put up the battery over here because the breadboard is going to have power supply from usb to uart itself this is the connection and uh, don't get confused with the leds and the setup here because almost all of the setup is same the only connection of usb to uart to your breadboard is what you have to do for programming all right so let's program just connect the usb to your computer and uh, the power led will start you know the blinking it indicates that power supply has been handed over to the breadboard now we need to see on which port our usb to uart is connected on so just go to your my computer right click and click on manage and yes you need to install the drivers of uh, this whatever usb to uart you are using which you can found, find in download section of our go805.com controller right all right go to your system tools and device manager it will take some time to load and here you can see ports click on ports and here is my usb to uart connected on com5 so basically my usb to uart uses cp210x usb to uart bridge so us can be different you have to find it you it all will be mentioned in the ports section so just make sure you have you know select the proper uh, com port so let's start programming open flash magic and uh, you have to there are a couple of things you have to set up before uh, uploading the program select the microcontroller here which is 89b51 rd2 com port 5 baud rate should be 9600 
and uh, just don't mangle with the settings check both of these options and check this option verify after programming it will verify after programming or microcontroller and go to options advanced options hardware config and make sure this these two things are unchecked these two things should not be checked as you can see it's okay now let's program just browse the hex file you will find so i am going to browse the hex file of our led so this is a blinking led program i am going to click open and then i am going to click on start after clicking on start a window will appear reset the device into isp mode what you have to do is just hit reset button once and it will start programming and that window will go down this is your finish once it shows finish just hit the reset button again to and you can see our blinking led program is ready Don't forget to visit www.coit051.com for more tutorials of microcontroller on breadboard.